On this episode of China Uncensored, Red Games. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your schoolmaster, Chris Chappell. You know, a child's mind is so innocent and pure. That's why it's just so easy to brainwash them. Ah, look at those kids. They know what it means to be ready at any moment to build up glory and completely exterminate their enemies. That's from the official song of the Young Pioneers of China, kind of like an introductory group to the Communist Party. The song is called We Are the Heirs of Communism, again, a song they make kindergartners memorize. I was taught a little song called Love is Like a Magic Penny when I was in kindergarten. If you hold it tight, you won't get any. Lend it, spend it, you'll end up having more. I am so unequipped to deal with this world. Now, what you're looking at is basically the Chinese version of Cowboys and Indians. Only in this case, the Chinese People Liberation Army are the Cowboys, and the Indians are the Japanese savages who think they own the Diaoyu Islands. Senkaku, what's that? So, a Chinese kindergarten has dressed up their children, some as young as four, in military garb, given them fake machine guns, and have them enact a defense of the Diaoyu Islands from Japanese invaders. Oh, that's the cutest party mouse piece I've ever seen. Now, obviously, there are a lot of problems with this. How are you going to get older children successfully brainwashed too? They won't want to play games with kindergartners. Enter state-run Global Times. They're the ones that have brought you such insightful op-eds like Never Sleep with a Virgin. They know the best way to reach teenagers is with mediocre side-scrolling shooters. Defense of the Diaoyu Islands is the latest in a string of red games, games that instill the values of the Communist Party. You know why the Communist Party flag is red? It's supposed to symbolize blood. Now, if you somehow missed it, the Diaoyu Islands, also called the Senkaku Islands in Japan, are a string of tiny, uninhabited islands that may sit on a huge reserve of natural resources that are under Japanese authority by decree of a post-World War II treaty with the U.S., but may have once belonged to China a few hundred years ago, and China has actually been preparing war over it. Check out that episode. Uh, yeah, some of the episodes I do are a little funny. Uh, that's one of the scary ones. So really, indoctrinating kids with video games, how do you feel about that? Thanks for watching China Uncensored. I Wait a minute. Love is like a magic penny? Well, that's just capitalist indoctrination, tying love to monetary exchange rates. The only thing that song is about is the love of money. I'm gonna call my kindergarten teacher and give her a piece of my